Thank you. Uh, I suppose the question, can Europe lead the way? Well, my own experience has been that Europe has been leading the way, I think, from the beginning on this. Uh, when I was in the Parliament from 94 on to 2004, clearly, Europe was leading the way. The Americans were dragging their whole heels, uh, as were some other parts of the world, but notably America. Having said that, while Europe can lead the way, it's up to the individual member states as well to ensure that they are doing as much as they possibly can to ensure that we can meet targets. Like Ireland has agreed to a 20% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2020. But the base year is 2005. Now, the ERSI recently said that Ireland couldn't afford this. They were using this spurious argument that carbon taxes would cost too much. The target, if anything, is actually far too soft because the base year 2005, along with 2006 and 7, were when emissions were at their highest. And this was a direct consequence of the speculative boom that afflicted, afflict, afflicted Ireland. Now that that bubble has, has burst, there is a natural correction of anything up to maybe 30%. And the, the likely range of economic contraction in the next few years would be anything between 15 to 30%. So as a result of the unavoidable economic contraction, Ireland's economy finds itself in a new, more sustainable level. Emissions will also fall a low a bit, possibly by a lesser amount, but a 15% fall in emissions in two to three years is actually possible. Uh, and this will occur without a government policy, but in actual fact, as a direct consequence of the recession. Now, the big challenge here is that we need to prevent emissions rising again if, for example, when and if the economy recovers. And my problem, as far as I can see at the moment, is that the government's policy on reducing emissions is actually flawed. I mean, a new generation, one of the things is a new generation of energy efficient buildings. Another thing is a concentration on a massive switch to electric vehicles. Now, I can come back to those later, but I do think that what we need to focus on is, uh, you know, um, uh, insulation of existing buildings. We also need to look at some of the major uh, uh, anomalies in the system, whereas you have, you know, where you have the free carbon credits for big indus industries, which I think, and I've said before, is basically to facilitate uh, the likes of the cement industry. You also have no proper environmental accountancy of air travel. Sorry, and I'll finish on that. Those are the kind of things we need to address, and we need to ensure that the reduction in emissions doesn't actually increase again, and the government need to put that sort of okay. policy in place. Thank you. Thanks, Patricia.